Hey guys, I've just got a quick step-by-step -step tutorial tonight showing you some of these designs that I did using Magpie's new inkies. They'll be available this weekend at the show um, Pro Beauty Manchester or online from Monday evening. So let's get straight into it. The first design I'm going to show you is this stone marble effect. Um, this is my favourite design, I think. And I started by using a base of Plain Jane, Magpie's white gel colour. And then I went in with their inkies in black, just popping this onto the cleansed, cured layer of the white polish, just letting it disperse on the nail there. And then I went in with the inky in clear, and this just disperses the black even more onto the nail. Um, and then I went in with the silver inky, just to add a little bit of sparkle to the design too. Obviously, you can do as little or as much dispersing as you want um, and have a lot of fun playing around with these. So once I was happy with how the nail is dispersed, I went in with a layer of Magpie Give Me Strength, popped this on top of the stone design and went in with some silver leaf there from Magpie, just splitting up the shards using some tweezers. Um, and then I top coated with Don't Be Tacky to finish the design off. Really pleased with how that one turned out. So the next design, I used a base of Black Betty, two layers of that, cured, and then I went in with Plain Jane onto the cleansed layer of Black Betty. And then what I did here was got a bit of Prep and Dehydrate and an old illustrator brush just to disperse that white gel color. And then I went in with Magpie's Inky in Pink, um, and did my first layer of inks into the white and then once I was happy with my pinks I went in with Magpie's Inky in purple and just added another layer of purple and then I went in with the deep blue ink on top of that. Once I was happy with all my colours then I went in with the clear and dispersed them just a little bit more and then did a layer of Give Me Strength and cured again to pop my gold leaf in this time and just shattered that up and popped it at the corners of the nails using my tweezers again to split it up and just place it on the nail how I saw fit and once I was happy with how my gold leaf was sitting I went in with the slices from Magpie these are the solar shaped slices I think and I added some moons and planets and stars top coated and good to go Next, I'm going to show you this autumn design that I did. Um, these are using Magpie's new autumn leaves, the Jackson leaves. And for this design, again, two layers of plain Jane. Cleanse your colour once you've cured it before you go in with the inks. Then I went in with the ink in rust. Did a good helping of that onto the cleansed, cured layer of white gel polish. And then I went in with my inky and in red over the top of this, just letting that disperse into the colours, into the gaps of the white gel polish and then I went in with some of the inky in deep red, this is my favourite colour of inky I think, um, and just filled my gaps there, went in with a bit more of rust when I wanted to add some more and then I went in with the inky in clear just to disperse again the colours together on the nail until I was happy. Once I was happy with all of my dispersed layer then I went in with inky in gold and just added a little bit of shimmer to the nail with that. Then went in with a layer of give me strength again leaving this uncured on the nail to go in with my gold leaf and just grabbing it with my tweezers separating it across the nail um, to where I seem fit. This is Magpie's Shape Cutter. You're gonna use this to shape your leaves and make them curve. Just pop the shape in the center of that heart and use the tool to press down firmly. This is gonna curve your leaves to sit curvily on the nail. Um, so just place them where I wanted and then once I was happy, cured that in the lamp. And then, that's a lie, I didn't cure it. I went in with some of Courtney, the new Sisters Glitter Collection. Just a wee bit there and then I popped it into Cure and then top coated using Don't Be Tacky 
After this, I wasn't happy that the nail was flat, so I just buffed it with a 180 file and then top coated with Don't Be Tacky just to finish off that nail. Next, I'm going to show you some Halloween designs using the new Halloween slices. I absolutely love these. They're so cute and they can be black on one side or gold on the other side. So for this design, I started with Magpie's White Plain Jane, two layers cleansed and then I went in with Magpie's Inky in purple just doing little tiny sections of the nails in purple dots first and then I went in with Magpie Inky in green and just filled out these purple bits again tiny tiny dots I'm using here and then I went in with the Inky in blue just to finish off my inks there once I was happy with that, I went in with a layer of Gimme Strength, wet onto the nail, not curing it, and popped in some of these super cute magpie shapes, or slices even, um, and just placing them on the nail. You can see how thin they are there, and you can use the shape tool that I'll show you in the next design as well, just to bend these onto the nail if you're having struggles with them lying flat. And then to finish this design off, I went in with some of Latoya from the New Sister Collection, a nice chunky glitter, and just filled in the little gaps that we trail from the pumpkin to the back of the nail, and then cured my layer of Give Me Strength, did another layer of Give Me Strength, and then top coated, and that was me. A nice, cute Halloween design. Next up, we have got a Halloween design. I'm not really keen on this myself. I think I made it a bit messy, but I just want to show you guys how the products can be used. So base of Black Betty, and then I'm going in with Plain Jane again. I've got my cleansed layer of Black Betty there, and then I've got my Plain Jane, and then an old Illustrator brush that I have mixed in with Prep and Dehydrate, dispersing that white. And then I'm going in with the Inky in pink, popping that on top of the cured white color, should I say. And then going in with the deep blue on top of that. Once I was happy with my blue, I went in with the inky in green and then popped that into the final sections as well. Then I went in with a layer of Give Me Strength. Again, left this uncured on the nail and then I went in with Magpie's new Chameleon Flakes Bloom. These can be chromed onto the nail, but I wanted to get that sparkly uh, shard effect. So I just popped that into the wet layer of Give Me Strength um, and dotted that around the nail. And then I went in with my gold leaf again and just popped this into any sections that I felt could have some more going on and then finally I went in with the new Halloween slices these are amazing I absolutely love these and um, they'll be linked below and they're super fun you've got pumpkins witches bats and they can either be gold as you can see on the front or they can be changed to be black on the other side of them so I just put in a wee witch there and a wee bat and then finally to finish this design I used the chunky glitter Kylie from the new sisters collection as well and just popped that in my little clouds to make them slightly glittery and then once I was happy with all the placements of that I cured that layer in my lamp and then top coated and that was me finished design so yeah nice and spooky in time for Halloween and finally I really love this design as well this is a sugar candy skill that I did and super simple too Went in with a base of Plain Jane, two layers of that, cured it, removed the tacky layer, and then I went in with the Inky in blue, first of all, working really small with this section, and just doing it in a little circle-ish in the middle of the nail, and then I went in with the Inky in green on top of this, and just blended out that blue, and then I went in with a layer of the pink Inky, just on top of that as well, just to tie that all together. And then it creates nice bits of purples where the blue and pink meets. Got some of my clear inky, went in again, just to disperse this slightly on top of the nail, as you can see there. And then finally I went in with my silver inky just to get some glitter on that nail, just dispersing that a few drops onto the nail there. 
Once I was happy with that, I top coated using Dumbataki, absolute favorite top coat. And then I just did a wee stamp from an old Dixie plate. Absolutely love Dixie plates. This is DP05, I think. It may be discontinued, but check out um, the Dixie plate website. I'll leave a link and you can have a look for yourself. And that was me, top coated with Don't Be Tacky. And there we have our final Sugar Skull nail in all her glory. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Bye.